Hey everyone! In today's video, we're diving into a fantastic way to give your old or sluggish computer a new lease on life. If you're tired of dealing with a slow, outdated machine, or you've got an older computer just gathering dust, then Linux Lite 7.0 might be the solution you've been looking for. Let's explore why this lightweight Linux distribution is perfect for breathing life back into aging hardware. So, what exactly is Linux Lite? Well, it's a lightweight, efficient Linux distribution that's specifically designed to run smoothly on older hardware. It's based on Ubuntu, which means you get all the stability and security of one of the most popular Linux distributions, but without the heavy system requirements. Now, why should you choose Linux Lite 7.0 for your aging PC? For starters, it's incredibly lightweight. Even on systems with minimal RAM and older processors, Linux Lite 7.0 performs like a champ. Whether you're just browsing the web, editing documents, or even doing some light photo editing, Linux Lite handles it all with ease. I recently helped a friend revive her old Intel MacBook with Linux Lite 7.0. Her machine was no longer supported by Apple, and instead of letting it become e-waste, we installed Linux Lite. The installation was smooth, and the performance boost was remarkable. Even though the key board layout was initially incorrect, it was a quick and easy fix. This just goes to show how user-friendly Linux Lite is, even for those who are new to Linux. One of the great things about Linux Lite is its simplicity. The default desktop environment is the XFCE desktop, which is lightweight but highly customizable. While it may not have the eye candy of other desktops, you can easily tweak it to your liking. In just a couple of minutes, I was able to set up my preferred interface with a dock-like panel, no desktop icons, and a lighter theme. Plus, the whisker menu, which acts as the main application launcher, is fully customizable too, so you can make it work exactly how you want. Let's talk performance. Even with just 3GB of RAM and two CPU cores in my virtual machine setup, Linux Lite ran incredibly fast, faster than many modern desktops on much more powerful hardware. Applications opened almost instantly, and Chrome, in particular, was lightning quick. If speed and efficiency are what you're after, Linux Lite 7.0 won't disappoint. Out of the box, Linux Lite 7.0 comes packed with everything you need to get started. You've got Chrome for web browsing, LibreOffice for your documents and spreadsheets, GIMP for photo editing, VLC for media playback, and much more. It even includes handy tools like TimeShift for creating system restore points and DejaDup for backups. Basically, Linux Lite has you covered from day one. One thing I noticed, though, is that Linux Lite doesn't come with a universal package manager like Snap or Flatpak pre-installed. But don't worry, it's an easy fix. Just fire up the Synaptic Package Manager, and you can install Snap, Flatpak, or any other software you need in just a few clicks. If you're new to Linux, you might be wondering if this is the right distro for you. The answer is a resounding yes. Linux Lite is designed with simplicity in mind. If you can install a Windows app, you can install Linux Lite. The learning curve is minimal, and the community support is excellent, making it a great starting point for anyone looking to make the switch to Linux. So, if you've got an old PC lying around, or if you're just looking for a lightweight, efficient operating system that won't bog down your machine, Linux Lite 7.0 is definitely worth checking out. It's free, it's easy to install, and it's incredibly powerful for its size. Give it a try and watch your old computer come back to life. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech content. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you've tried Linux Lite yourself. I'd love to hear your thoughts. See you in the next video.